Boy, do the Bucks believe in Baker as he has come through here and had a career year with the Bucks, not just in completion percentage, passing yards, and passing touchdowns, but among the best win loss record he's had in his career, only behind that 2020 playoff season with the Cleveland Browns. And I'm certainly hoping that Trey Palmer wakes up angry uh, again as he's done uh, and scored a touchdown every time that we've heard that as we now get the pulse on this Bucks lions matchup with Sarah Walsh. And Sarah, let's start with the fact that um, the Bucks dominating the Eagles in the postseason seemed more like fantasy than reality after their week three meeting in which the Eagles won. How do the Bucks look to dominate again in Detroit on Saturday, Sunday? Rhett, they are calling it the revenge tour down here in Tampa because they lost to the Eagles in week three, and that was the game the Eagles dominated. And then the Bucks went and flipped the script on Monday night and did the same to the Eagles. Now, week six, they played the Lions. They lost to them 20 to six. So they're next up on this revenge tour checklist, and they would love to knock them off. Now, Dave Canales, their offensive coordinator, talked this week about what you saw on Monday night was an offense that was in rhythm, an offense that was mixing it up with the pass and the run, and the Bucks haven't always been able to do that this season. The Buccaneers as a whole feel like they are an entirely different offense than the last time they played the Lions in Week 6, and that's fair because not only was Baker Mayfield new, the Bucks had a new offensive coordinator, and being an offensive coordinator was new to Dave Canales. He had never done that before. So this late in the season, the Bucs have seemingly gotten things together. The last time they played the Lions, they had just 46 yards on the ground in that game. They had six points. That's the fewest they scored all season long. And then last week, actually on Monday night, just a couple of days ago, they had 119 yards on the ground. So they've done a nice job of mixing things up. That's why you're seeing this offensive output now. And I talked to Baker Mayfield Center today, Robert Hainsey, and he said, Baker's out there playing free. He's playing football the way he is meant to play football. He said he's taking chances, and Rhett, he is being unapologetically himself. And that is why people here in Tampa love this guy. There is an aura around Baker, and everyone has bought in. Well, in addition to the edge that that offense plays with, with Baker Mayfield uh, at the controls, the energy with which that defense plays has been so much fun to watch. A great combination of savvy veterans and impact young players, including a, a couple of rookies as well. Uh, what's on their mind ahead of this Lions matchup? Well, this is a Bucks defense that has always prided itself in stopping the run. They're top five in run defense. They did a really nice job against holding the Lions ground game down. Jameer Gibbs didn't play in that game. But if you want to pick something apart on this defense, if you want to say, hey, here's what we can get better about, you got to look at their pass defense because on Monday night, the lone bright spot really for the Eagles was Devontae Smith. He had 148 yards in that game. So then if you go back and say, okay, well, what were the Eagles or what were the Lions able to exploit in week six? I'm on Ross St. Brown had a really good game, 12 receptions, 124 yards, and a touchdown in that one. Todd Bowles said he is unbelievable as a receiver, said his ability to start and to stop is just so good. And then I was talking to Carlton Davis as well, and he called him a savvy route runner. I thought this was interesting. He compared him to Antonio Brown because he said of his versatility and where they can line him up. And obviously, Carlton got a good look at Antonio Brown when he was here in Tampa. So he said, Listen, what we're going to have to do is we want him to play our game. We have to force him to go where we want him to go. We can't just give this guy free range. The Bucs have been really good on stopping the run, but those corners know on the Buccaneers and the safeties know they're going to have to lock it down on Sunday if they want to be moving on. Lions and Rams gave us the game full of the most drama on Wild Card Weekend. Would not be surprised to see this matchup provide the same uh, this weekend. Sarah getting us set for it. Thanks a bunch. Still to come here on NFL Total Access.